Rob and Erica, the one thing people here in Rogers Park can count on is increased police presence here in the neighborhood on Halloween night. But we know that officers can't be everywhere. So some families are planning house parties. Others are doing alternatives to the traditional door to door trick or treating. And some people are even signing up for buddies on Facebook. It's the season of ghosts and goblins. That's the best. <laughs> Masks and mummies. I can't do that. All things creepy and crawly, and of course, costumes galore. Anyone could be anyone. And everybody's dressed up looking like killers. But this Halloween? There is a killer out there, and that's traumatized us a little bit in the neighborhood. In Rogers Park, it's a different kind of scary this year. That's a little too freaky. Yeah, we want to be scared, but in a fun way. No, he still could be out there. He is. Here's surveillance video of him. Mask and mostly covered up like many people will be on Halloween. It's a really easy way to blend in. That's what scares me the most. Almost a month has passed since the murders of two men in separate Rogers Park shootings. Well, let's go by. So while the fun for these folks will still go on next week. I feel like that's it. The strategy? is different. He's been picking people off alone. So the biggest thing is that you just have to stick with the group. I'm just worried for everyone and everyone's safety. One of those alternatives to the traditional trick or treating is horror movies are being shown for families here at the new 400 theater in Rogers Park, right here in the middle of the neighborhood. But also the alderman is teaming up with police and they're doing what's called a trunk or treat. Kids will go car to car in a park in a confined area instead of door to door just to make it safer for everyone. We're live in Rogers Park tonight. Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. Erica. Okay, Audrina, thank you.